One of the uh, issues we've had on our coach for a while is this piece of trim that's uh, separated and we'll see if we can fix it. Uh, this has been this way ever since we've had the uh, coach and it's just been basically because uh, they just, uh, if I look down here, it's got a screw in the bottom of it but the screw's busted off and they didn't use any kind of adhesive to um, hold it up there. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to fix it uh, today and we're going to use something from the boating industry which is this stuff here. This is uh, 3M uh, Marine Adhesive Sealant uh, 5200. Now 5200 is used uh, in the marine industry for things like uh, fittings on the deck and uh, cleats, those kind of things, deck to hull joints. Um, and it's really strong stuff and it's all but guaranteed to hold and I don't think it'll ever come undone. Now it takes about two days for this stuff to dry. Okay now uh, basically this is one of those self puncturing things. Okay um, let me do a little bit of a test here see how easy this is going to be to come out because it may just take too much pressure. Yeah, it's just it's going to be a little hard to squeeze, I think. Um, what you're going to get out of it. So, well, I probably should be using gloves here, but because this stuff, if you get it on you, it's kind of a messy thing. So, I'm going to pull this down just a little bit. And then, uh, I said I probably should be using a pair of gloves, but. Um, I'm just gonna get a good amount of goop on here. This stuff will clean up too, by the way, before it's dry. All right. And that's basically just kind of working in a little bit here. Put a little bit more on. Yeah, I'm pretty much botching this job here with getting the stuff all over. And this stuff is not inexpensive either, so I hate to, you know, use more, or I should say waste more. This is one fluid ounce. is around $10, so it's not cheap. All right. I'm thinking that's good for there, and I'm just going to load a little bit more in the top here. Okay, now I've got this, uh, these are nice, these Wolfcraft clamps because you can uh, reverse them and that's what I've done here and I'm going to try to bring it up and over like that and I'm going to just have to get the right angle. There we go. Okay. I think that's got it. Uh, I think I'll put another clamp in here to clamp it in. And now I uh, just basically have to wait for a couple days for the stuff to cure. And I think I'll put a little bit of it more in this syringe so that I can at least. Um, get some in, the, uh, in that little joint there. So, we'll uh, there we go. There. And then I'll come by a little bit later and clean up before it dries, before it cures. Clean this, clean this up. And it's been a while, I think you can use acetone to clean. Let me double check here. Um, 
Yeah, it doesn't say, so I'm going to have to go online and, and look to find out uh, what uh, they recommend using. So, uh, anyway, uh, that was a quick project, and uh, I'll uh, take uh, and resume this video here in a couple days uh, so you can see the uh, results. Well, now it's been three days since uh, we applied the 5200. Uh, the weather has turned kind of cold. It's only about 35 degrees out here today in the middle of April. And uh, so it did take maybe a day extra to get it fully cured. But now that it has, I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. I did find also that uh, you can use alcohol, uh, isopropyl alcohol basically, to clean uh, around the excess 5200 that you want to take off. Now one caution is if you do use alcohol, uh, it will prevent the 5200 from curing if it if it's, uh, comes into contact with the alcohol. So you want to be real careful and only clean the areas that need to be clean and don't get any of the alcohol into the cracks or anything that you want to be sealed. So now this project's done. I mean we got a nice permanent bond here and uh, it turned out pretty good.